Hey, in this video, you are about to learn how you can start your very own home business while still working a nine to five. Next. What's up, guys? It's your man, Earl batman stringer and in this video i want to talk about um starting a home business while you're still working a full-time job or even a part-time job this is how most people uh, who start their home businesses get started they, they're usually working somewhere and the whole mindset is to be able to get away from that nine to five and be your own boss right so just a couple of tips that can get you started um, that I found uh, that really helps. The first thing you need to do, <clears throat> let me clear my throat, is research. Why do I look so small? Is research. Hold up. Damn. Damn, it feels small. Anyway, first thing you need to do is research um, what kind of business you're about to go into. Because once again, your time is limited if you're working a, a full-time job so you got to be really focused on what you're trying to do right so you need to do your research figure out what is your home business going to be um, and is it something that you're really ready to to dedicate yourself to because keep in mind a key word with a home business is business right running a business not earning some extra cash and this and that like you you want a home business so do your research really figure out what you want to get into the next thing you need to focus on is knowing what um need to map out what it takes to get your business going right figure out all the steps uh that you need to do to make things happen like all right well, do I need a website or uh, do I need to what kind of marketing do I need to do? Do I need to get business cards? Do I need to do videos? Do I need to create a Facebook page? You need to figure out everything you need to do, um, you know, map everything out. What what steps you need to take to get that new business that you want to get into? What do you need to do to get it off the ground? Right. So have that all mapped out. And the cool thing is if you got a job that you work nine to five or whatever, and you find you know time on your job or your lunch break or whatever that's those are good times to map out stuff you know what i mean to map out like oh, okay i need this i need that i need to get business cards or i need to create a youtube whatever you need to do have it all laid out for you right the third tip all right because remember we're about saving time because your time is limited you know what i'm saying you you're you know you're already working already so in most cases you're tired you know after work and in the morning most people you're getting ready for work right or in the afternoons or however you work so um the third thing uh that you need to do which is super super important is make time to work on your business and what i mean by that is figure out when's the best time for you to to focus in on the steps that you did in the previous step, the things that you, you need to get done and, or you need to do to make your business run and work. What time are you going to work on your business? How many days a week are you going to work on your business? So if you decide, like, listen, I'm working on my business on, you know, Monday nights, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturday. Those are the four days I go hard. Now, being completely honest with you, you're trying to do that home business. You you really need to be doing something every day whether it's something small but every day needs to be going something towards building your home business because remember this is your home business right so keep that in mind but not only do you need to figure out what days which should be every day but once you figure out the days okay what time are you going to work on your business are you going to do it say you work a nine to five right you get off at five o'clock you already know, okay, when I get home, I, I play with the kids or I cook dinner and I do this and I watch the news or whatever you do. If you already know that, don't tell yourself, oh yeah, as soon as I get off work from at 5.30, I'm, I'm on my business. Don't make that plan if you know you're not going to be able to stick to it. Maybe you like to come home, you know, 
play with the kids or eat dinner or make dinner or whatever and then you watch the news or whatever and you already realize usually from like seven to nine you know you're not really doing nothing or even from when the kids go to bed or your spouse go to bed or whatever you know from like 10 p.m to, to midnight that's time that you know you can focus in on your home business you need to stick to that just like you stick to your nine to five schedule right because i know you know you got to be at that at that um, building that you work at you know you got to be there at uh nine to five so you need to take that same mental uh, attitude and transfer it to your home business right because that's how you're going to get results if you really focus on scheduling and everything you do in that time period build your business so maybe on monday nights is when you you know you work on your youtube channel that's your youtube thing tuesdays might be um your your researching for whatever um thursdays might be your facebook marketing but however you come up with it do things that are are great that will grow your business every single day everything you do needs to be towards you know building your home business okay the last tip that you can do when um starting your own home business if you're working a nine to five and you have a little bit of extra money right to invest in your business you can actually hire outsourcers which a lot of people do and a lot of people don't really think about that because they're like well i'm working a nine to five i don't want to spend give somebody else a job like i'm not trying to do that but if you do step one and two where you research everything and then you know what you need to have, get done to, to grow your business there's so many sites out there freelance sites out there uh you can go to fiverr.com you can go to guru.com you can go to freelancer.com and you can actually hire people to take care of some of your things that you need to get done you can outsource youtube you can actually hire people to do 10 videos a month for you right it might cost you 100 bucks a month to get 10 videos done but you can find somebody if you do the proper research and everything you can find people to write articles for you you can find people to to find clients for you depending on what you're trying to do so keep that in mind if you're working a nine to five job you might want to set if you have any money to invest if you you know if you're investing in your business maybe hiring some help uh, is part of the investment right so you can literally while you're sleeping getting ready for your nine to five you can have other people doing some of the tasks that will help your business grow and make you some more money right so those are my tips guys uh hopefully this will definitely help you out uh if you're looking for a home business you want to check out Genesity, which is a network marketing slash, you know, affiliate marketing business opportunity. Uh, you can check that out. Link below. Um, cool company. If you if you're trying to get started with something, also check out uh, Automated Cash App system below. If you're into uh, affiliate marketing and getting commissions, you want to check that out. All right. If you got any questions? Leave them below. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you in the next video peace hey thanks for watching this video i just got three quick questions for you one if you had the opportunity to make a passive income month after month would you two if you can work whenever you want from wherever you want would you and the third question is if you could have your own business in a billion dollar industry, would you? If you answer yes to any of these questions, click the link in the description and I'll talk to you soon.